Alpacas are mammals in the camel family and live in the high altitudes of the Andes Mountains in countries like Peru and Chile. They live in mountainous areas between 4,200 and 4,800 meters above sea level. Their fur is thicker and their blood is more efficient at carrying oxygen. allowing them to survive at high altitudes where oxygen is scarce. Because of the rugged mountains, they have naturally developed hooves and soles that make them good runners. Their fur comes in a variety of colors, including black, brown, and white, and they can grow up to 40 centimeters long, They are primarily raised as livestock for their wool. Alpaca's fur is soft and warm, making it highly prized. They have a tendency to live in groups and should be kept in pairs, at least two. If kept as a single individual, they can be solitary. One male and several females live in a group with their young. The gestation period is about 11.5 months and they give birth to a single litter. Due to their loner nature, they are very friendly to humans. Especially for people in the Andean region, it is recognized as a friend. The zebra, the iconic herbivore of the savanna, crosses the line between black and white. They are native to the savanna regions of the African continent, which have a subtropical climate with little rainfall, in the countries of Sudan and South Africa. Each species of zebra is distinguished by its distinctive black and white pattern, and each zebra has its own unique pattern. Zebras stand between 120 and 160 centimeters high and 25 meters long and weigh between 160 and 500 kilograms. And although they are called zebras, they are actually more closely related to donkeys with a similar size and build. Zebras are herbivores, mainly grazing on hay and tree leaves. However, being a herbivore leaves them vulnerable to predators like lions. Therefore, zebras mostly form herds to defend themselves against predators, but they also have symbiotic relationships with herbivores like giraffes and ostriches. While ostriches and giraffes have good vision but poor sense of smell and hearing, zebras have poor vision but good hearing and sense of smell, so they compensate for each other's lack of vigilance against predators. The temperament of zebras is very different from that of horses. Zebras have a ferocious nature that makes them difficult to tame. Genetically, they're close to donkeys, so they have a fierce temper. But they're also more sensitive than donkeys, and once they bite, they don't let go easily. In addition, the zebra's physique, with a large head compared to its body, curved spine, and lack of endurance, makes it unsuitable to be ridden like a regular horse which is why they have been kept away from domestication. Surprisingly, a zebra's call sounds more like a dog than a horse. Zebras use it mainly to get the attention of other zebras, but also as a kind of alarm system to alert the herd when they sense the approach of a natural enemy. An interesting feature of zebras is their stripes. There is a debate as to whether zebras have white or black stripes or black and white stripes. The white stripes on a black background are the correct interpretation, as the zebra's fur is shaved to reveal black skin. 
Other theories about zebra's stripes include that predators are colorblind, so the stripes are actually a protective color, that the stripes evolved to disrupt the vision of tsetse flies that feed on animal blood, and that the white-black stripes absorb light differently and cause convection, which is used to cool the body. An adult zebra's hind kick is so powerful that predators such as lions have been seriously injured or killed trying to hunt them. In some cases, predators that have been struck in the face by a zebra's hind foot have had their jawbone completely shattered, leaving them unable to feed and ultimately dying shortly afterward. As powerful as the hind kick is, the zebra's tusk is a weapon capable of inflicting fatal injuries. The zebra's oral cavity resembles a nutcracker, which is why it is so powerful. Natural predators risk their lives to capture a single adult zebra, and often try to do so in herds. Zebras live between 25 and 30 years, but few live to see old age, and most die of old age, either as prey for predators or from lack of water during the dry season. We hope you enjoyed learning about the black and white striped animal. For more animal documentaries, subscribe to Alpaca World TV.